YouTube, assuming you're watching this on the day I uploaded it, or the day after, in which case- WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! It's Christmas, you should be spending this day with friends and loved ones! Of course, I knowingly uploaded this today, so I guess I'm partly to blame. Anyway, the subject of today's video. Earlier this year, I played a video game, and while playing it, I said this. This is the most Christmassy level I've seen in a video game. I should do that. The top 10 Christmassy levels. Not winter levels, per se, but levels that actually evoke the feelings of Christmas. So, I heavily blurred the clips because it's going to be number one, but if you know what the game is, uh, it's pretty obvious that it's number one, and if you don't know what the game is, then uh, you probably won't agree that it's number one. But anyways, so nestle up everyone, grab a cup of nog, and settle in, because I'm going to read you the top 10 Christmas levels in video games. This is a story that should be stung by a bard, so start it all off by rolling that title card. Hello YouTube, and welcome to Indian Top 10 Christmas! Specifically not winter. Levels of video games! An opinion piece. may not be all levels. Some might be kind of Christmassy themed, another might be up straight up Christmas games, whatever. The first one was suggested by Scotty, because Arkham Origins takes place during Christmas Eve. You do realize it is Christmas Eve, sir. And it's a pretty fun game too. I love the city of Gotham. It has that 1940s noir vibe, but it's all decked out for Christmas. My favorite place in the game was Jezebel Plaza. I mean, it's got everything. It's got city sidewalks, the busy sidewalks, and they're all dressed up in holiday style. I mean, in the air, there's this really just a feeling of Christmas. And I bet during the day it has children laughing and people passing that would meet each other smile after smile. But at night, on every street corner, you'll hear Batman crushing people's skulls in. Oh, and I also love this super Christmassy cutscene with the Joker. See, it's a tradition in my house to open one present each on Christmas Eve. Hmm. How about this one? another Christmas time game. Ever since I knew that in September it was going to be in Christmas, I knew it was going to be on this list, and specifically the fight with the mall Santa gone psychopath. And originally it was going to be much higher on the list, but Capcom Vancouver had the one over and ruined the uniqueness of the game. Never mind the shafting of TJ Rotolo, I actually think his replacement is funny and does an alright job, but what I can't forgive is the removal of the psychopaths in place of maniacs. Seriously, if you just gave them all a cutscene and personality, it would have made everything alright. But nope! So it only gets the number 9 spot. So what happens is you enter this area, a guy rhymes at you while he, you fight some elves, and then you fight the big man himself, Sadistic Claws. In fact, I am so displeased with this that I went ahead and made my own animatic of what the introduction cutscene could look like. He's making a list and check. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas, little boy! And what do you want for Christmas? Wait, I have just the thing for you. Ho ho ho! From Santa. Uh, what is your name? Uh, Frank? Frank. Fr Franklin West. Oh, no, no, no. This present is for nice girls and boys. You have been very, very naughty. Ho, ho, ho. Let's sing a slaying song tonight. Also, it would have been cool if his name was Nicholas. So number eight isn't really a level, but a code. First, you go to the main menu, and then you hit L R R L R R L R L R. That, 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 that's it. Then you type in a word, and there's quite a few things you can do here, like getting a sound test or making the game a little bit harder. But what I'm looking for is something a little more festive. By putting in Mary, we get a slight change to the game. In the game, there are bonus levels where you collect stars and bananas while this song is playing. But with the Mary code activated, all the bonus rooms get this jingly little jingle while collecting tree ornaments. 
that are not amiibos. And instead of Chom Choms, you collect presents that are not amiibos. And then get a coin. So this year, I got to play the indie story To The Moon, and it came with two mini-episodes, one of them taking place during Christmas, and I think it is great. Neil and Eva are the funnest characters to observe interacting with one another. Now, I won't say too much about it because it didn't make much sense. However, presents, tree, family and fun, the song Jingle Bells, and the song Silent Night. I really did love this little bite of To The Moon, and as mentioned, my favorite part of the game is the soundtrack, and Ken Gao remixed some of the tracks with a Christmassy feel. I love it! So I didn't actually capture the footage for this myself, because do I look like I'm made of money? This is a $33 game, but it just oozes Christmas. You see, Nights and Dreams was a game made for the Saturn, and to promote it, Sega released a special disc called Christmas Nights and Dreams, which rebrands the first level with the most Christmassy level you've ever seen. Instead of regular rings, you fly through wreaths, and the color palette goes full Christmas. Everyone wears Christmas clothes, and it even plays super jazzy, upbeat versions of Jingle Bells, and get this, the menu song is Joy to the World. Huh. I can tell you that I did not expect my Sega game to have a song about the second coming of Christ in it. Alright. And since I actually stole the footage on the screen from a Let's Player, I actually want to use his words to describe this level because he describes how good of a Christmas level it is better than I ever could. Then I got it and I started playing it like, this is... This is Christmas and I can't. Like, I started playing it during the summer, I think is when I got it. I'm like, this is, this is holiday spirit in a can. This is like watching a Charlie Brown Christmas any time of year. Another game I do not have. I mean, do I look like I'm made of money? This is a $10 game after all. But it is a viewer suggestion, and they were dang right! Look at this level, Evergreen Lift. First off, this is an astoundingly beautiful game. Second off, check out this level. It's an auto-scroller, and the whole time you're ascending, there's a beautifully decorated Christmas tree in the background. There's a candy cane motif on the sides. Your platform has Christmas lights, stocking, presents, snowflakes. I mean, on the level, you even get to find a holiday tree that is sure to bring back good memories. Honestly, this level is so Christmassy that I'm frankly surprised that you do not need to change the Wii's internal clock to December 25th to be able to play it. Okay, out of all the suggestions I got, huge thanks to Blaze Flares. Oh my gosh, Pikmin 3 is one of my favorite games, and learning that there was more games to be had was a blast. After playing this level for the first time, I played until my Wii U gamepad died trying to get a platinum medal. But that's neither here nor there, so let's talk about the level Fortress of Festivity. So this level is so Christmassy and gorgeous. The walls in this level are Christmas presents. Candles and pine cones litter the table, and the green and red blocks certainly drive home the fact that this is a Christmas level. There's even this nice little Pikmin stocking. Everything about this level is so great, especially the color palette. It just gives that warm and enveloping glow of being inside a nice warm house while the rest of the world is coated in a blanket of snow. And you want to know what the greatest gift of all is? This is the only level to feature all seven types of Pikmin. On this level, you get a few purple and white Pikmin. It was so nice to see these guys after their absence. But before I continue, I gotta show you the most christmas thing I've ever seen in a video game. It includes Christmas trees, it includes a slide, and it includes jingle bells! The 
the last game that I did not play myself, but it was suggested by so many people that I couldn't ignore it. But come on, do I look like I'm made of money? This is a six dollar game after all. But it was suggested for a good reason. Look at all the Christmassy things on this level. And hot dang the song for this level. This song made me toss out my current Christmas CD so I could add this song. Well, and the songs from Christmas Nights and Dreams. This song is just a medley of Christmas songs. And every 15 seconds, it's a new Christmas song. A warm and fun level. Thanks for the suggestion, you guys. You made my December drives a little more festive. Oh my gosh, Animal Crossing in December is so neat! They add sleigh bell remixes to all the hourly songs. It's so special now! And I've never properly played this game on December 24th. Because after 8 o'clock, you gotta sit down with the family and watch Christmas Story. You gotta read Luke 2. You gotta blow up a building. It's Christmas tradition. But for this video, I want to give a special shout out to anyone who has played this game on Christmas Eve because it really captures the feeling of the season super well. And as mentioned, after 8 o'clock, Jingle the Reindeer comes to your town and delivers presents. And if you meet him five separate times, he'll even give you a present. I got the Jingle shirt, which really just looks like a blood-stained white shirt, but whatever. Also decorated trees. This is a fantastic level, and check it out. 2016, December 24th is gonna be a Saturday, which means the KK Slider is coming to town. It truly is a Christmas miracle. And a twist to no one who's played Banjo Kazooie saw coming the Saints Row 4 Christmas DLC. I mean, Freeze Easy Peak. This is the perfect Christmas level in every way, shape, and form. And it's my favorite level from the game. Breathtaking song. In fact, it was already on my Christmas playlist. Especially when you rush through the star because it adds in jingle bells. And you get to decorate the tree by guiding the twinklies past the twinkly eating monsters. And bada bing, the tree is lit. There's also presents on this level that add elevation. And you get to play Santa by bringing presents to the sad bears and girls. And you get to traverse a giant Gryffindor snowman with a corncob bite and two unblinking, oddly human eyes. And while not necessarily Christmassy, you get to become a walrus and have a toboggan race with a polar bear. Freeze Easy Peak is the level that motivated this list and my pick for the number one Christmas level in video games. So those are the 10 that I chose, but I had so much fun making this list. And you know, you know, next year I might make it again. So if there's any more Christmassy levels in video games, leave it in the comments so I can make another one next year. So thank you for watching, and if you want to get me a gift, just 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 comment on this. Comment, comment, like, or, or even dislike, you know. I, I do mean that that would be a fantastic gift for me. Uh, with that all said, I'll see you next time on the Heman Gaming Station. So Merry Christmas to all, and a hop in New Year!